holiness as patriarch. Hello everyone. Something I have to share. I had a uh, epiphany the other day. We're privatizing everything it seems. Uh, now uh, you've seen the story in Tennessee where the couple had their uh, house burned down and the fire department watched because they didn't pay their $75 annual fee to the uh, fire department. We've had privatized schools for quite some time where uh, taxpayers can get their tax money back that they put in for public education in the form of a voucher, which they can then take somewhere else to a private school and uh, send their kids there. We've privatized the prison system, and it's doing a very brisk business, turning uh, good, upstanding citizens into felons. She was living in a single room with three other individuals. One of them was a male, and the other two, well, the other two were females. God only knows what they were up to in there. And furthermore, Susan, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised to learn that all four of them habitually smoke marijuana cigarettes. I smoke two joints in time of peace and two in time of war. I smoke two joints before I smoke two joints, and then I smoke two more. Hard work good, and hard work fine, but first take care of head which is very convenient because felons uh, lack certain rights, one of which is the right to vote. They're also uh, denied certain basic services, so it uh, kills two birds with one stone. Good move. The rich can make even more money and reduce the public gold. Hey, Rocky! Hey, Rocky! Watch me pull a rabbit out of my hat! So there is this faction within the United States that basically wants to privatize everything. Uh, anything that is held by the public, services that are provided to the public through a tax system is considered socialism. Boo! We don't want that. Well, I guess I just have my first taste of the filthy side of this business. So, here is my idea. Let's see what you think of it. One of the biggest expenses in this country is our military. And as we're learning now, the military really doesn't protect the interests of the average individual. It is protecting the interests of the elite, their oil fields, their lithium fields, poppy fields, all this stuff. So, hey, why don't we privatize the military? Let those people who benefit from it pay for it. Those who don't want to participate shouldn't have to pay for it. This ought to put an end to the whole privatization shit real fast, okay? Let's, let's get this idea out there and spread it around. Privatize the military. So if you're a weapons manufacturer, you'll pay for war. If you're an oil company, you'll pay for war. If you're an average schmuck like you and me, we should get that money back and, and put it into something peaceful, free energy, uh, alternative energies, uh, anything. But the ongoing, send it over to Africa to, sp to feed the, the starving children, for God's sakes. I mean, there's so many things that we could do. Privatize the military. What a brilliant idea, don't you think? I mean, come on, if we're going to let people's houses burn down because they don't pay $75 now because the, the files, fires... When I was a kid, I remember public works. I remember ambulances. I mean, all these, these things. This was, this was the conservative, wonderful world of the 40s and 50s. So how have the conservatives switched to defeating the very uh, ground on which this perfect time of theirs uh, was run. No, they're, they're, they've been brainwashed by these, these corporations to, to think that privatization is, is good for America. Uh, if privatization is so goddamn good for America, then let's privatize the military. We don't benefit. We never have. You know, they're not protecting us from any threat that they haven't created on their own. And if you haven't woken up to that yet, I don't know what to say. Go back to sleep. Thank you. Peace out. Oh, and... It's a wonderful day for pie. You can ask all the birds in the sky.